Man, no, it, it's great. Um, you know, and the, the, as soon as you started talking to people, our phone started ringing. Uh -huh. Really wonderful. You know? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I was writing emails for two or three days. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember you saying that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're very nice people. I mean, all around. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we we like our customers. <laughs> yeah. We're happy to share. Well, hi, folks. I'm I'm Dave Henchy from the Cape Cod Fish here. Uh, we come out of uh, Chatham, Massachusetts, which is on the outer elbow of the Cape, and we bring fish from the, the local day boat fishing boats down there. There's 29 of them in the fleet in Antlitus Cove in Chatham. Uh, the boats go out anywhere from 8 to 20 miles on a short trip, and if they go a long trip for the, the eastern part of George's Bank, they go out about 150 miles. Uh, we generally get the fish 99% of the time from the 8 to 20 mile trip. And what happens here is the boats are getting a direct connection with the consumers and the normal value chain for how fish is handled is cut down by about six steps and the boat captains get 30 to 50 percent more for this fish than they do for uh, the fish they have to put out of the auction in New Bedford. What specifically happens in that case is they get more income per trip, less trips per year, and we maintain the fishery in a healthy manner and try to avoid the overfishing that's been going on with the trawling boats compared to the line caught boats, which are the boats out of Chatham. Uh, these are all small businessmen. They employ one or two people, um, and they go out and they're very weather sensitive. So they work very hard at what they do. I uh, realized that we trace our fish back to the boats, and we send out a weekly flyer every week with who caught your fish, what's going on with the fishery, the nutrition facts on the fish, and of course some great recipes for our customers. Uh, which they really, really enjoy. The people like the recipes the most, but they also love to know who's catching the fish, and the fishermen love to know that the fish is staying local. They hate to have it shipped off to New York and it goes off on a plane in Japan, that type of thing, when it's, you know, two weeks old by the time it gets to the consumer across the ocean. So what we do is we give people two types of fish every week, a common fish and an uncommon fish. And a common fish would mean cod, haddock, and pollock. And an uncommon fish is all the other great species out there you don't get in the grocery store. We've had, in this year, we've had squid, we've had gray sole, we've had sand dabs, which is another type of flounder, uh, bluefish, um, Atlantic pollock, cod, and haddock so far. This, this year is halfway through. The next one starts at the beginning of July. Uh, the shares run five times a year for six weeks at a time, and we have four different plans based on household. Uh, next week, uh, we should have um, ocean perch, which is a delicious redfish fillet, and we'll have codfish. Uh, our scallops are unmatched because of the scallops. Until you've had day boat scallops from Chatham, you really haven't had scallops. They come in and, I mean, we pull the vans to the back of the dock, 50 pound bags of scallops come off, we take them and put them in one pound packages for you, and we're off and running. The same thing with the lobsters. The trucks are pouring water out the end from the, the lobster traps come out, we put them in, sort the lobsters. We buy cull lobsters, which are lobsters mean missing one claw. Uh, because it helps the fishermen very much because they can't sell those to the processors. It doesn't, doesn't look perfect in a stop and shop tank where the lobsters have been anywhere from two weeks to four weeks old. Uh, our lobsters have one claw, but they're sweeter, they taste better, and uh, they tend to have a little more meat in the tail because they put an energy in their tail when they're missing a claw. So, tastes exactly the same, just doesn't look as pretty, and it helps out the fishermen again very much. The sustainability aspect, I think I touched on just a little bit, this is line caught fish. They're not being trawled, ruining the bottom of the ocean, the environment for the fish to uh, uh, continue to reproduce and whatnot. For instance, a female codfish will produce between three and five million eggs when she spawns, but if they're scraping the bottom along with the trawls, you ruin the environment and you cut down the codfish population, which is what happened in the Gulf of Maine. Because the codfish population has collapsed up there and they're putting draconian limits on the catches next year. Uh, fish Wholesaler has been very innovative in what they're trying to do to introduce people to such things as, they call it Chatham Salmon, which is spiny dogfish. It's delicious. People have never had it before, and uh, we have it, and actually we'll probably have it in this year before the end. Beautiful fillets of, of, of shark. Tastes fantastic. Very sustainable species. In our newsletter, anyways, we also put in from the... Uh, the government uh, NOAA site, which monitors the fisheries. What is the condition of the fishery of the fish you're eating? Has it been rebuilt? Is it rebuilding? Uh, and the methods used uh, the, with the catching, the sustainably caught stuff. The dragger uses what they call turtle-friendly gear to, to save the, the sea turtles out there. It will break off if a sea turtle gets in the way. 
won't get tangled in it. The lobster traps also have whale friendly gear which was developed right, by the guys. If a whale hits that, that gear, the gear will break off and float away and the whale doesn't get tangled in the, uh, the lobster boat has ways to recover those traps later. They know where they we are. We wanted to develop new markets and uh, of course Ed Cesaro who, who owns half the company lives in Belchertown. And we knew that if we could bring this high quality fish out here to Amherst on a basis that the fish is caught on Thursday night, we process it on Friday and you've got it Saturday morning. It doesn't get fresher than that and the quality is just off the charts good. So we're trying to develop uh, kind of a matching program with the local CSAs uh, to bring fish out at the same time the CSAs are picking up to introduce people to this product and so far um, it's been very successful. The customers are very happy with the product and they're talking to each other and they're telling people. I'm going to bring my colleague Ed Cesaro who's off camera here. It's, uh, it's been just unbelievable uh, being involved with uh, local food community here in Western Mass. Just enthusiasm up and down I-91. Uh, it's just unbelievable the support of local initiatives, uh, sustainability, uh, and but all, you know, just a real concern over food security and food safety and health. It's it's all kind of coming together and the amount of support that I feel in the community makes this just incredibly exciting to be a part of. I just can't wait to get here with the fish. And all up and down I-91, um, I'm trying to go to as many farms uh, in many places as I can. Because pretty much just people love it. And I'm just so thankful for the support that I've gotten from Jeremy at Simple Gifts, from Dan um, and Cameron down at uh, Brookfield, from Liz and Ben at Mountain View Farms. Uh, you know, I could go on and on. We're just limited by we're limited by how fast we can get it here and how many people we can we can get to. Uh, to right. So specifically so. for uh, deliveries, we're uh, we're Saturday at Brookfield Farm. It's happening right now down there. Saturday at Simple Gifts Farm. They're pretty much going on currently when people pick up their shares. Uh, sometimes we might not get here at nine o'clock, because especially on the Lobster Day, it's quite a quite a uh, logistics, quite a long path from Chatham to here. Uh, Thursdays we're at Mountain View Farm from 3 to 7. Um, if you're lucky enough to be a Bay State employee, we're there at their own farmer's market, private farmer's market on their campus from 2 to 5.30 on Wednesday. And then pretty much the rest of the pickup locations are in the Boston area, which Dave handles, and on Cape Cod, which Dave handles. So that's how you can get the fish. Yeah, it's a great outfit, actually. Uh, it's a Whole Foods outfit. Yeah. Um, then it goes out to another storage unit and then it goes to the store. Okay, so you're about eight days out, but I got it. Okay. Good stuff. Um, it really doesn't get pressure.